Silk Road was a network of trade routes ranging from eastern China to Middle East and Europe. Originating in Xi'an, China, the 4,000-mile road followed the Great Wall of China to the northwest and went through the Afghanistan and reached all the way to Western Europe. Few persons actually traveled the entire route, and goods were handled by middlemen and trading posts that were scattered along the route. During its roughly 1,500 years of existence, the Silk Road endured the rise and falls of many empires and several major calamities, including the Black Death and Mongol conquest. After these calamities, the Silk Road often emerged stronger than before. As a highly decentralized network, security was sparse and travelers faced constant threat of nomadic raiders, long, inhospitable terrain. Originally, Silk Road was established around 100 BC during Han Dynasty in China. Emperor Wu sent imperial envoy Zhang Qian to Central Asia to explore the unknown lands in search of potential trading partners and allies. The information and good gathered by these expeditions increased the Chinese people's interest and prompted formal diplomatic and commercial dispatches, as well as an effort to protect the routes with the soldiers and the extension of Great Wall. Also, the 600 miles of royal road that connected Susa, present-day Iran, to Sardis, present-day Turkey, was established during the Parisian ruler Darius I. It was about 300 years before the opening of Silk Road. The Parisian also expanded the branches of royal road to Mesopotamia, Indian subcontinent, Africa, Egypt. Alexander the Great expanded his land into Persia using this royal road. The east to west trade routes between Greece and China began during the 1st and 2nd century BC. The ancient Roman Empire and Kushan Empire of northern India also started trading along the Silk Road. Interesting thing is that the ancient Greek called the ancient China as a Ceres, which means the land of silk, but it wasn't the official name of the trade route back then. The term Silk Road was actually coined in 1877 a German geographer and historian, Ferdinand von Rickethoff. Even though the name Silk Road derived from the popularity of Chinese silk among the merchant along the route, it was far from the only important thing that was traded on the route. The export and import included agricultural goods, tools, religious objects, artwork, and precious stones. Obviously, a lot of culture and languages are exchanged along the route. Commodities like a paper and gunpowder spread along the Silk Road and had lasting impact on the culture and history of the world. The techniques for the making glass migrated from the west to China following the route. The Silk Road was also very popular among the explorer who would like to understand the culture and geography of faraway lands. Venetian explorer Marco Polo probably is one of the most famous persons who used the Silk Road to travel. He traveled from Italy to China in year 1275. After his arrival at Xanadu, the summer palace of Mongolian emperor Kublai Khan, he spent over 20 years in Asia. He returned to Venice in year 1295, again following the Silk Road, and published a book based on his journeys, The Travel of Marco Polo. Despite repeatedly surviving the many political changes and disruptions, the Silk Road abruptly ended with the rise of the Ottoman Empire in 1453. Ottoman Empire almost immediately killed the trade between East and West. The seeds of existence of Silk Road prompted European effort to seek alternative route to East. That movement prompted at the age of discovery, European colonialism, and more intensified process of globalization. The influence of Silk Road survives well into the 21st century. Part of the Silk Road still exists in the form of paved highway connecting Pakistan and Uyghur Autonomous Region of Jingxian, China. The old road has been the impetus behind the United Nations plan for the Trans-Asian Highway. Also, a railway counterpart of the road has been proposed by UN Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific. The Silk Road also inspired the cellist Yo-Yo Ma to found the Silk Road project in 1999. 
which explore the cultural tradition along its route and beyond as a means for connecting the arts worldwide across cultures. The name New Silk Road is used to describe the several large infrastructure projects seeking to expand the transportation through the many of the historic trade routes. Among the best known include the Eurasian Land Bridge and the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative. This is the history of Silk Road, the road that connected the East and the West, and the routes that transported the goods, ideas, religion, and technology. The 4,000-mile route that lasted 1,500 years are rich with the history. It certainly is one of the most important historic sites of the world. The legacy and impact of Silk Road is affecting the people's life until now. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the show and please like, share and subscribe to this video. Thank you very much.